Oh, didn't realise you were there. Hello everyone, and welcome to Marcus Richie Game Reviews, and this week I shall be reviewing Kirby's Dreamlands on the Game Boy. Right, let's start off with a bit about the game. Okay, originally Kirby was designed to be a beginner's platformer. Now you have to bear in mind that for a lot of people, including myself, the Game Boy was one of the first systems we owned, so we needed something a little bit easier to start off with. And that's what Kirby was designed to be, a beginner's platformer. Now, the design of Kirby was originally not supposed to be the big pink ball we all love. It was sort of a fill-in character until sort of like a temp character during the development what I could think of a better one. And as, as time went on, they grew quite attached to little blob. You know, he's cute. I mean, who could not love him? As of, the, as of May 95, the game has sold 1.5 million copies, and to date, it has sold 5 million copies, and it's the fourth biggest Game Boy game of all time. The graphics. You've got to bear in mind, the Game Boy has two colours and a very, very limited resolution, so from a creative point of view, you have very little to work with. But despite that, the graphics are very nice, Kirby is well animated, and the game world looks very interesting, surprisingly. I mean, the difference between a bad game and a good game is very minute in the Game Boy. I mean, to be able to get that little extra something else, detail, presentation, is very difficult. The sound. I think the music in this game is by far the best thing in this game. It is bright, it's colourful, it's vibrant. It, I don't know what it is, but you could be a 5 year old, you could be a 15 or a 30, but I think it would have the same effect on everyone. It would make you feel a bit like a kid, you know. And I don't know, playing this game, music is just, and with, with the gameplay, the music, it just makes you feel so, I don't know, happy? I think that's the, I think that's the greatest thing about Kirby, he has that effect on people. Always brings a smile to your face. So, my final thoughts. I never played Kirby back in the day, but I saw a lot of videos on YouTube and it looked like a really interesting game, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I was blown away. It's such a brilliant game and I can't believe I missed out on it. If you're a Game Boy fan or a Game Boy collector and you haven't played this game, I would really recommend it. It's not expensive and it's not even a super long engrosser game. I mean, it's only about five or six levels I remember and it's not super hard it's, 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 it's a bit of a challenge but it's not over the top so if you had a spare afternoon I'd really recommend this it definitely gets the thumb of approval so I'm gonna play some more Kirby oh yeah thank you for watching and see you later